over a period of time spark came and that's the main subject for us to study and spark came on top of hadoop right on on top of hadoop platform and it brought new capabilities to hadoop platform so initially this is what hadoop looked like a cluster where you can use uh, hdfs to store data across these systems a yarn resource manager which allowed this entire thing to work like a single system a hive uh, data warehouse which allowed you to run sql queries on this and pig scripting which allowed you to write uh, scripting for doing your data processing spark came with four five unique advantages so when spark came it offered spark sql which was similar to what hive offered but much more faster than hive sql so spark came up with the sql capability with much more faster performance compared to hive and then spark also offered composable function a uh, functional programming apis or function apis to completely replace the pig scripting so pig scripting replaced by the spark so if you talk about the current scenario pig is completely dead on the hadoop platform pig is completely dead it is absolutely killed by spark uh, it's it's gone it is not at all used anywhere in the industry hive is still being used but uh, spark keeps on killing continuously hive also because all hive offered was sql capability and spark came up with its own sql capabilities uh, which is similar to hive but spark sql came up with the faster uh, execution query engine so the first offering of spark on top of hadoop was alternative for hive it offered alternative for pig which were much better uh, killing hive and pig hive is still survived uh, but pig died spark also offered language support uh, old hadoop system offered only map reduce programming in java only language supported was java but then spark came up with the four language supports java scala python and r so the composable api or the scripting capability of spark is available in four languages so that was another advantage in terms of performance spark offered 10 to 100 times faster than map reduce mr and map reduce program and 10 to 100 times faster than hive sql so spark sql was also 10 to 100 times faster than hive and then spark supported hdfs storage of hadoop but it also supported cloud storage so this hadoop system was built on these uh, machines uh, group of machines form a cluster uh, and this was not a kind of cloud native technology but spark came up with the support for cloud storage so now you can read data from hdfs and you can also read data from cloud storage like s3 or azure uh, blobs or azure uh, data lake storage adl known as adls or you can read data from google cloud buckets so they came up with the additional support uh, hadoop supported cluster management using yarn but spark came up with uh, options so it supported cluster management using mes mesos that was another similar to yarn a different technology for cluster management or cluster operate building a cluster operating system spark all came up with its own cluster manager and it also supported uh, kubernetes for cluster management so these are the five unique features that spark has brought on the table to take over the hadoop platform entirely and to take over the capabilities that hadoop brought and bring it on the cloud platform and that's why spark has kept on growing since then uh, pig died hive is continuously dying and spark is replacing that in summary with data warehouses brought two new approaches monolithic approach and distributed approach to solve that problem the distributed approach won and the driver for the distributed approach was hadoop platform it was being used for maybe many years and then on top of hadoop spark came and then it, it started even killing the hadoop taking over all the capabilities of hadoop bringing it uh, on the cloud platform Uh, even on the on-premise platform, on top of Hadoop, so it, it started giving new options, new capabilities, new features uh, on top of Hadoop and on cloud, killing or retiring Pig and slowly also Hive, and even eventually in the attempt of retiring the Hadoop entirely and moving everything onto the cloud. So, as of today, on that entire distributed computing effort, Spark came out as a winner.